Thank you for that. <clears throat> Let's go to Bill Mimish. He and Ron Brigliasco have a Louisville, Kentucky affordable housing opportunity for you that you're really going to like. Thank you, John. You mentioned in your economic report at the beginning that multifamily is the asset class to be in. And by the end of this uh, conversation, I hope you realize Louisville, Kentucky is the place to have it. Ron Pregliasco and I have a 63 unit multifamily portfolio for sale here in Louisville. This portfolio includes six buildings plus the former property management office. Now in my former broadcast journalism career, we always said don't bury the lead. So I'm not gonna bury the biggest thing we have going for this opportunity, which is an assumable mortgage. How does the interest rate of 4.63% sound? Now the principal on the Fannie Mae loan is $2,745,000 interest only for the next four years. The NOI is 372,557 with a pro forma of 10% growth, delivering $450,320 NOI. Now since buying this portfolio, the seller has been able to increase rates on new leases by an average of 12%. Our seller bought these as part of a larger purchase 12 months ago and they're selling to pull some equity out as planned. These properties have new roofs, kitchens, and baths. These are good Class B properties. If you want to see the T12s and rent rolls with 100% occupied, send us a CA, which is at both the bottom of the OM and under the Documents tab. And here's why to invest in Louisville. According to the recent Shandon Economics Report, Louisville has the highest rental occupancy rate in the country, averaging 98.8%. And our rent growth is well above average at 7.5%. Realtor.com ranked Louisville as the number three housing market for growth. Nearby new development here includes a new $80 million hospital and a new Goodwill Training Center and more. Louisville, Kentucky is the place to invest and this is the portfolio to invest in. John, thank you very much. Bill, thank you as always. Let's go to Kurt Arthur, one of our council chairs. He and Nick Williams are at it again. They have a beautiful property in McMinnville. That's where Spruce Goose is, I think. <laughs> Thanks, John. Good morning, everybody. Way to put me behind Bill Menish. I always think I have a pretty good voice. Then I follow him and I realize I'm peanuts. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody to the beautiful wine country of the state of Oregon. This property